Sutro Baths was an unequaled experience. It boasted seven pools, seating for thousands, a stage, and 100,000 square feet of glass to allow in sunlight. Thousands of San Franciscans learned to swim here. In their prime, the baths were a bustling weekend destination for local families. And Sutro has some ideas, it's going to be covered in glass, but he doesn't have plans. The Sutro baths are actually physically constructed, open air, and then he sets out to find an architectural firm who can build a structure to enclose him. He has an event in plan for uh, the spring of 1896 when on a magnificent weekend, everything's gonna be dedicated at once. The new cliff house, the, the electric streetcar line called the Sutro Electric Railroad, the Sutro baths are going to be open for swimming for the first time. He's purchased a bunch of amusement park rides from the uh, recently and the 1894 World's Fair, all gonna kick off. I was there for the museums. It was every little boy's dream come true. This was not like an ordinary museum where everything's very neatly laid out. This is like an, a museum on steroids where they run out of space. The other area though, which was my favorite, was the Musée Mécanique. These were all the mechanical devices and the automatons. I learned to ice skate there. The uh, soles were getting a little thin, and the rivets were popping up, and they'd wear a hole in your heel. I went on the Sky Tram a few times, actually. It was kind of uh, rickety and scary in itself. It was, uh, it was June 26, 1966, and Sutro's was on fire, and the firemen had all the hoses running down the middle of the street. At that point, I watched uh, Sutro's burn down. People that I just saw there recently that were from other countries felt that this was something special. As you would see any kind of ancient ruins, that something special was going on here. 